What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on the brand new XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro. So this is a brand new portable LED smart projector with some impressive features along with official certified Android TV OS. Now you can pick this up for £529 and I do want to share some special offers with you guys so you can save some money. So do check out the links and info that I'll leave for you in the description box for more details. So projector itself is quite compact in size as you can see. It's also made from a very interesting colour. They're calling it uh, Mocha Gold. So it's kind of like gunmetal silver with a small subtle touch of gold. So yeah, it looks really nice. Nice design, familiar design. So build quality, it's made completely from polycarbonate with this really nice mesh design going all the way around. It kind of gives a metal effect finish. All right, so let's just quickly run through the specs. So this is an LED DLP projector. Lamp life is 25,000 hours. Brightness is 400 ISO lumens. This also features 90% DC IP3 color gamut. Native resolution is 1920 by 1080 with HDR10. This does also support 3D movies and videos. You've got Android TV OS version 11. This projector features autofocus and auto keystone correction. And you've also got intelligent eye protection. Maximum optimal screen size is 200 inches. This projector has HDMI input, so you can hook up your favorite game console or TV box, Fire Stick, etc. and enjoy any of those on the big screen. You've got 5 GHz Wi-Fi built in along with Bluetooth 5.0. Furthermore, you've got quite an advanced speaker system, 2 times 8 watts, and they do support Dolby Audio and Dolby Digital Plus. Now dimensions, it's 16.1 cm in height, 10.8 cm in width, and 11.9 cm in depth, and it weighs 1.1 kgs. On the front, you've got your lens and it is covered by a piece of glass. You've got a bunch of sensors on the top and the bottom, and that includes 3D time of flight sensors, CMOS sensors, along with gyro. Now, with all those sensors combined, XJimmy's new technology is called Intelligent Screen Adaption, which will give you uninterrupted auto keystone correction and auto focus, along with intelligent obstacle avoidance and intelligent screen alignment. So if somebody or an object comes in front of the projector, it will immediately dim the projector light, giving you that important eye protection. Now on the top, you've got a single power button and the XJimmy logo. On the back, you've got your Type-C port for power. You've got a USB port for multimedia. You've got an HDMI port so you can hook up your favorite game console, TV box, Fire Stick, etc. You've got an audio jack as well, so you can hook up your own audio system or even headphones. I've had a test of this and the audio system is incredible for such a small device. And to add to that, on the back, there is a transparent window which actually shows you the bass diaphragm. So you can actually see the sound movement of the speaker, which actually looks quite impressive when you've got it all powered on. This thing does not have a rechargeable battery built in. It's completely powered off the Type-C power supply, 65 watts. And if you've got a 65 watt power bank, then you can actually power this thing directly off a power bank on the go. Now at the bottom of the projector, we do have a tripod thread, so you can hook this up to any universal tripod. So the first thing we're gonna do is test out that fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 35 decibels. And if we move back one meter, the fan noise drops down to around 30 to 32 decibels. Okay, so the projector's all set up. We're around two meters away from the wall in front of us, and we're projecting just over 80 inches. Now we are projecting directly on a cream colored wallpaper, so I am not using any sort of projector screen. So I've got a bunch of various file formats, um, 4K video samples, etc. So let's go ahead and try playing these directly from USB. So as you guys just saw, I just played a whole bunch of 4K samples with HDR and they played back really nice and smooth. Now here's the thing, this is not a 4K projector. This is a 1080p projector, but it can decode 4K files. So it gets a large 4K image, shrinks it down to 1080p on the fly, and therefore the image is better quality than 1080p. That actually looked quite impressive. 
Now this projector can also play back 3D movies and videos from a USB drive, supporting both side-by-side -side and top and bottom 3D formats. And the 3D pop is just impressive. You just need to wear some passive 3D glasses and you're good to go amazing feature to have in a portable projector. So now it's time for some YouTube streaming starting off with the usual Costa Rica demo and you can see this does support 4k 60 with HDR but of course this is decoding the 4k this is not real 4k but nevertheless let's see how it performs. <laughs> Picture quality is absolutely stunning. I'll give you a close up of the lizard. And you can see no pixelation up close. All four corners are looking crisp and sharp. The overall projection quality, the contrast and colors look absolutely amazing. Very impressed so far. I'm gonna quickly switch on the light. So you can see what it's like if you're using this projector in the daytime. As you can see, it's still very visible. So you can more or less use this projector at any time of the day. But if you really want to take advantage of your home cinema projector, you want to switch that light right off. So let's go ahead and play a few more trailers. switch to HDMI source and we're going to play some games on our PlayStation 5. So all I had to do is power on the PS5 and it automatically detected the source, changed it by itself. Now I'd just like to add 4K is being decoded with the PlayStation 5 but HDR is not available whilst decoding 4K. If you want HDR you need to go into PS5 settings and drop the resolution down to 1080p and then HDR and HDR10 become available for supported games. So let's just play some games, starting off with Astro's Playroom. Drinking very, very carefully. Okay, 
And this is of course Android TV OS version 11. If we head over to the main system settings and check out the projector settings first of all, we have brightness mode. So we've got vivid cinema bright performance and custom. Custom allows you to fine tune things exactly to your own preference. Okay, we've got keystone correction. It, now it's already set to automatic. You've got manual keystone correction. You've got image zoom. So if your wall is not big enough for the picture, you can shrink things right down. You've got image displacement. So you can actually adjust the screen position slightly. You've got keystone settings, keystone restore, auto keystone on startup, auto keystone upon motion, auto obstacle avoidance, and auto screen alignment. So I'm gonna switch all of these on. I'm just gonna move the projector slightly. I'm gonna tilt the projector towards the right a little bit. So the whole image is overlapping the wall. It recognizes that and it sorts it out. So very good autofocus and keystone correction. So good that you won't believe it. Inside the box, you will find your user manuals, paperwork. This also comes with a 65 watt power supply, USB type C. A remote control with the Google Assistant button. So this is actually a Bluetooth remote control powered by two AAA batteries, which are included in the box. So there you have it, guys. That was the XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro. Now let's start off with the caveats. There is no internal battery in this model. The previous models did have an internal battery. Now it's not a huge deal breaker as you do have type C power and this can be run off a power bank for portable use. And in the long run, no worries about depreciating battery performance. So I guess I can live without the battery. Now, one really good thing about this projector is the ability to connect external TV sticks and streaming boxes. So if Android TV is not your thing, you certainly have other options thanks to the HDMI port. Now the built-in apps offer a great experience. YouTube decodes 4K with HDR. Amazon Prime Video and Disney both support HD with HDR and Netflix also supports HD. I do want to remind you that this is not a 4K projector. This is a native 1080p projector which can decode 4K. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm absolutely amazed that this can actually play back your 3D movie collection from a USB drive. You usually don't get this feature in portable projectors, so very impressed by this. This projector does tick all the boxes. The, pro the projection quality was impressive. Sharp colors, nice contrast, and super brightness for even daytime use. I just can't believe how good ISA 2.0 works. It's a massive upgrade for this Mogo 2 Pro. My favorite has to be that uninterrupted auto keystone and auto focus. Absolutely mind blowing feature. The best I have tested so far on a projector. The built in speakers are outstanding quality, very loud and clear, great for movies and games. I didn't even have to think about connecting my own sound system. The built in speakers are more than sufficient. I actually had to turn the volume down, it's that loud. Now, the projector fan, on the other hand, is not loud at all. At 35 decibels, it's probably one of the most silent fans in a, port in a portable projector so far. This projector is feature packed. 4K decoding is supported and native 1080p with HDR10. So to sum this one up, here is my latest video projector chart for 2023, allowing you to compare these specs and the prices of all the latest projectors. Now, as you can see, I have ranked the XJimmy Mogo 2 Pro at position four on this chart, making this one of the best portable LED video projectors I have tested on this channel so far. XJimmy have done an incredible job with this one absolutely love everything about it and above all they've priced it right it doesn't feel too expensive for what you're getting and with all that being said i will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out there is some special offer going on and i'll give you the details in the description that's all for this video thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel and i'll catch you all in the next one peace